Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. As you can tell, I'm extremely comfy right now. This week I thought I'd kind of relax things up a bit, even though I'm going to be watching Arsenal, and that's going to be probably the most stressful thing to watch ever. We're playing Bayern Munich tonight in the Champions League in the first leg of the round of 16. Uh, I am not feeling confident, but I think if there's any year that we are going to beat Bayern Munich, this is that year. I suggest if, uh, if you don't like football or if you don't like reactions to football, this is probably the time where you should leave um, because you will not enjoy this video one bit. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. For those who have stayed, hopefully um, you'll either want Arsenal to lose really badly or you'll want Arsenal to do quite well. So um, yeah, this should be interesting. It's going to be a difficult watch. I'm going to make my prediction as kickoff happens. So I'm going to go to kickoff in three, two, one. So I've actually missed the start of kickoff because I was cooking tea. Um, a bit of jacket potato and beans. Luckily, it's nil nil, um, and I'm hungry. So apologies. Very unprofessional. Oh, Biner on the attack. What a surprise. So. Predictions for tonight's game. Hmm. My head says that Bayern Munich are going to absolutely thrash Arsenal about 3-0. But my heart says Arsenal are actually going to win 2-1. But that's incredibly unlikely. So I'm going to go with a logical score. And actually, it wouldn't be that bad a score for Arsenal either. I'm going to say it's going to be 2-1 to Bayern Munich. I think that's a good, decent score to take back uh, to the Emirates. Here they go. No. Go on, get it out. Get it out. Get it out. There we go. Oh, what a terrible tackle. Oh, Vidal had a long range shot. It was saved by um, Ospina. Thank the Lord. Okay, Arsenal being dominated right now, and it's only nine minutes gone. This doesn't bode well for the whole game. Oh, there's been a goal. Um, it hasn't actually happened on the stream yet because I've got the BBC spot up. Oh my God, that was an amazing goal. Oh, jeez. Robin just scored an absolute screamer. That was an incredible goal. He literally picks it up on the right-hand side, cuts inside, and with his strong left foot, just bends it into the far left corner. That is an incredible goal, and off the bar as well. Nothing can do about that. But that is poor from Arsenal. We haven't had any of the ball. They've probably had about 97% possession. Not a good start at all. Well, that was delicious. Again, I recommend this to all students and all people. Jack potato, cheese and baked beans. I'm sure you've all had it before anyway. Oh my God, he's up. Oh. oh no, is that two? No, oh, good tackle for Shelney. The only thing that's annoying me right now is American commentators on this stream. They are talking absolute rubbish. I feel sorry for Alexis Sanchez. He's by far our best player, but he's never going to achieve like winning the Premier League or winning the Champions League at, currently at Arsenal. People always argue, oh, Wenger in or Wenger out. I myself am Wenger out, but obviously he's done an amazing job for Arsenal. But we're not a team that fights for the Premier League anymore. We're not a team that fights for the Champions League anymore. We're not the same. And Wenger's done more than enough for the club. I think we need a fresh head, a fresh mind to take control of Arsenal. OK, so I've just realised that my camera was nearly out of footage space. So I've had to delete some old videos. So I was talking for a lot and um, I missed... Uh, Obviously some of it has been missed, I think like the last 10 minutes, but nothing has really happened apart from now and Arsenal have a penalty and I've paused it and I haven't seen what happens on my phone. Hopefully we scored it, but Alexis Sanchez is about to step up. I've no idea how this happened, but we've got a penalty. This is to get a massive, massive away goal. Come on Sanchez, he scored his last two penalties. You, you absolute fuck! Yes, we scored! Oh, yes! 
oh my god, I was going to call him a wanker and everything. I was going to curse him every name under the sun, but he's actually scored. We scored. We've actually scored. What's the score? One all. Oh, fucking he, mi- he, missed, he missed the penalty and then somehow, oh my god. Awful fucking, who's scored for Bayern? Uh, Robin, absolute screamer. Wait, you're on, the, you're on YouTube now, Ed. So that was a crazy two minutes. Bayern concede the penalty. Alexis misses the penalty. He misses the rebound, then chests it and then hits it in the bottom corner. That's huge now. That is absolutely huge. This has changed everything. Did not think this would happen. Wow. My 3-0 prediction is off from my head, but my 2-1 prediction from my heart is on. Come on, Arsenal! I have to say, ever since we scored that goal, we're playing much better. Every time Bayern go forward, they just look a threat and they look like they're going to score. But maybe luck isn't on their side tonight. Maybe luck is on our side. How are we drawing one all? We've... This is great. Come on, go on! Ozil! Oh, just, oh. That's it, half time, 1-1. One, one. I don't believe this, but we're going into the break at 1-0 with an away goal. Okay, the second half has started, but the draw is definitely the priority right now. To not, or to not concede is definitely the priority. Oh no, for f- Lewandowski has scored. It was a really good header in fairness, but I forgot to hit the record again since my camera can only record 10 minutes at a time. And uh, Bayern have scored again. And they're, oh, they almost scored again. It's 3-1 now. Two goals in, in the space of three minutes. It's just very deflated, very demoralizing now. They're still... 30 minutes to go, just over 30 minutes to go, but even I think this is game over and the tie is over with now. This is just turning into a shit show from Arsenal now. Oh, Lewandowski's through. Ospina did well. But he's come out. Oh my word. Oh my word. I can't even begin to describe to you what just happened. Oh my god. Another great save from Ospina from the corner. It's just awful to watch. Oh, what a save that was though. What a save. That might... <laughs> I doubt it, but that might have just given us some sort of glimmer of hope. We can't even get the ball out of our box. This is awful to watch. Oh, piss off. Well, that glimmer of hope has quickly disappeared. 4-1, game over, tie over, Wenger over. Bayern Munich are absolutely running riot. Been three goals in the last 10 minutes. It's just embarrassing. Here, Walcott's coming on. Our saving grace is gonna turn the tie around. Yay. It's 4-1. Well, oh, fuck off Europa League. Round the 16 every time. Hey. <laughs> it's really hard being an Arsenal fan sometimes. Oh my word. Almost 5-1. Probably will be 5-1 soon enough. Bayern Munich could probably put out their C team and they'd still beat us 3-0. This is just an embarrassing performance. I'm just depressed and I want more jacket potato and cheesy baked beans. Or a muffin. My camera battery is on its last legs now. I'm hoping it will last. Um, but I'm not sure if it will, so... If there's any more goals, I'll come back. And if not, I'll see you at full time. It's not full time, it's 5-1. 5-1. This is one of the worst Arsenal performances I think I have ever watched. There were no more goals, it ended 5-1.
I'm not surprised anymore. That's the sh that's the annoying part. That this isn't a shock. This has just been a complete disaster. This season has been a complete mess, and we're only just over halfway through it. This is absolutely awful, disgraceful, horrific, terrible, shocking. As I said earlier, I am, on the whole, I am. I believe that Wenger should leave the club at the end of the season, but not because of the performances that are produced on the pitch. Those performances are down to the players, and the players should take full responsibility for their actions on the pitch. The reason why I want Wenger to go is because he's been at the club 20 years. He's completely revolutionised English football single-handedly, won three Premier League titles, five FA Cups, or is it six FA Cups? Moved stadium. We've finished in the top four every single season that he's been with us. But we haven't won the Premier League in 13 years. And the most recent trophies we've won were back-to-back -back FA Cups. They were good, but it's just not the same as a Premier League. It's not as big. It's not as important. It's just, I think it's over for Wenger now, it has to be. It's a, sad, it's a sad time. This has been one of the most depressing days of... Actually, this has been the most depressing day of 2017 for me so far. 5-1, there's no chance we're going to score four goals against them. <sighs> Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next week.